Hello and welcome back to this new episode and final part of our course. So we played around with subscribers and listeners, but sometime we need to create something ourselves. And the case that we will need to have our custom event dispatched all around the application. Let me just give you an example of a custom event that Symfony built in won't came with. Let's suppose we'd like to dispatch an event that fire when a user open a to-do for editing or just for viewing it. We don't have such things on Symfony. Yeah, you may say that you could use when we open. Yeah, you can find a workaround, but the best thing is to create a custom event. And this is what I am going to show you today. Okay, so the very first thing is to create an event. So to do that, I speed up a bit things by creating this custom event folder under the SRC and inside it there is this to do event class that contain barely nothing for now. Let me just remove these white spaces and this one too. Perfect. Okay, so first of all, this class must implement a specific interface, which is or a specific um, uh, actually another class so I'll be doing extend event okay then this event must come from the symphony component event dispatcher event so symphony component and this one okay the next thing is to create the constructor method so constructor and this constructor need to have a type input attribute or parameter that will be of type the to do entity our entity to do so right here i will do of type to do and i will call it to do right there and i will need to have a property protected call it to do so it will be hosting the object to do that will be dispatched from the dispatcher to the listener or to the subscriber if that makes sense for you so right here i will do dollar this to do equal to dollar to do and since we are talking about an event an event mean some key and the key is a name so we need to create a public property public const and i will call it name and it will equal to to do again as we said namespace dot then the verb open it okay perfect and one last thing i would like to return a public function that will be get to do like so and it will simply return this protected to do dollar this and to do all is good what's wrong with this one an expected it doesn't interfere ah oh, there's an extra f okay all perfect now we could close this file and move back to where we want to dispatch this event and this is the key important part of our application and we would like to dispatch is this event when we land into this part of our application under the to do edit slash the id so inside this method which is the edit to do that has this route i will be dispatching an event so to do that first of all i need to inject the event dispatcher into my application and we need to create an instance of the freshly created to do so i'll do to do event equal to new to do event and look what happened here if you do remember in the constructor of this one we need to pass a variable or an attribute of type to do so to do it's already there so the next thing is to dispatch this event so i will do dollar event dispatcher then call the dispatch method so this dispatch method take the first parameter to be let me just jump into it so the first one will be the event name the second one will be the event object on itself so the event to pass to the event handler listener if not supplied an empty event instance is created okay so it requires a specific type that it must be event of type event dispatcher okay then this event dispatcher it's already here if you do remember the namespace that we are extending from is the symphony component event dispatcher event so all is good we could now pass this one as a second parameter and the first parameter will be 
this name attribute that we define it right here. So I will do to do event dot name and don't forget the semicolon right there. Okay, perfect. Now if I do refresh to check that everything is fine and nothing is broken, perfect. But nothing happened because we don't have any subscriber that is firing or handling this event. All right, so I will be getting help from our previously created subscriber listener sorry that will be to do listener so right here we have this post persist that we don't need at this case so i'll go ahead and create a new method so public function let's go to do open it then right here i will go by dumping some kind of random thing so uh, hello from the new event to do event something like that you could type whatever you want and you could also have a to do right here that we could configure that later but now let's test this with this setup the next thing is to tell Symfony that this to do or this method from this class is responsible of intercepting this to do event to do that it happened through the service.yml so here this is where we define the to-do listener this one and i would like to add a new one add a new tag actually so instead of doctrine listener i will go to kernel kernel listener kernel event listener and we'll be listening to the event that it's called unfortunately we cannot access the class right here so i'm forced to hard coded right here and we set the method that will be intercepting this thing that will be get to do okay perfect now if i do refresh hopefully i will see that message displayed correctly ah oh, sorry and it's not get to do actually it must be from this one it's to do open it i'm sorry for that uh where is that so just copy that and refresh and okay What's wrong has been thrown during a render of the jump fate to session because header already sent. Okay, I need to actually change this to an echo instead of dumping. And there you go, hello from the new event to do event and everything is fine. So right here we are expecting to have a to do event right here that it will be of type to do event like here. So I will do to do event as a type and i will call this to do event hopefully there will be no confusion between the name and i will do dollar echo and look here so i do dollar event oops space and you could get the to do and from there we could access all the properties of our uh, to do event or to do entity actually sorry so let me just get rid of this one now if i do refresh there you go. So React is a JavaScript, etc. And this is written right here. So that was how to create your own event and how to subscribe to it or how to listen to it. So the event subscriber won't be that difficult. You will do the exact same thing just simply by defining uh, this event. So quickly, I will create a new uh, new subscriber that I would like just keep it under this custom event so right here we'll do uh, to do a custom subscriber subscriber and okay just keep forgetting to set the to do to a comma case added and it will implement an event this oh no, sorry it will be an event this special subscriber interface and we need to generate that method to override and right here we will be subscribing to the to do event dot name and we'll be assigning a specific method i would like to borrow this method from uh, the to do listener that i don't know where well okay there you go let me just take it from there and i will be passing it right here between curly braces or single quote actually uh, and don't forget to do the return for sure so I do return an array of subscriber semicolon right here and quickly register this into um, what is that 
into uh, the service so I'll just duplicate this dude right there and I will do app dot custom app dot custom come on anyway I just grab the name from here custom event custom event to do custom subscriber and I will tell it to subscribe to the kernel kernel event subscriber and what's next everything should be fine now now if I do refresh nothing really happened because this is commented for now so if I do refresh there you go I'm on the to do subscriber and it's firing correctly so um, get the description meaning that everything went well so I'd like to hello from the subscriber da, 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 a bit tiny space and oh so sorry sorry this is javascript stuff and there you go so hello from the subscriber all went well and i would like also to reactivate this that you could see the difference of these things and added concatenate a br right here and hello to me so thank you guys i'm really happy that you reached it so far at this step so that was how to play around with the subscriber and how to create your own subscriber and how to dispatch this event hopefully you learn a lot of things um at the end of this course i would like really to thank you for being here on my journey hopefully you learned something you are now ready to attack the world of production and you could start working comfortably with symphony uh, the code of this entire course is available on github you could download it from the message you received or uh, from the command box of this course and just uh, really really appreciate your command please leave a feedback because it does really help me to improve my things thank you for watching and if you are interested in following me on youtube i really do invite you to check out my channel so youtube slash aloe muhammad habib and right there i generally share uh, content stuff sometimes i do share some um some uh, coupons etc so i really do invite you to follow me along there and nice to meet you and see you in another course